you're saved, you know, your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life from before the foundations mm -hmm. of the earth. Right? Yeah. So that, that meant at some point in time, you're going to believe. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But the Word of God says, those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Mm -hmm. But how will they call upon the name of the Lord? If they've not heard, they don't believe. And how will they believe if they've not heard? And how will they hear if it's not been preached and somebody has been sent? Right? So there was a man one time. His name was written in the Lamb's Book of Life from before the foundations of the earth. God had his eye on him from in his mother's womb. Because that's the way that works. But he had not yet received the Lord. He hadn't received the Lord because he hadn't heard about the Lord yet. Right? So now it says, How are you going to hear unless it's preached? How is it going to be preached unless somebody sent? So God decided to send somebody to this man. So that he would hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. Okay? Well, the man was in prison. The thing was, he wasn't a prisoner. The thing was, he was a jailer. So God took Paul and Silas in the town of Philippi. And created a situation, Hallelujah. or allowed the devil to create a situation. You can word it any way you want. Mm -hmm. his, the devil, his, his, the devil's desire is to inflict harm on us. Mm. Harm. There's a difference between you know the jab, which hurts, mm -hmm. and harm, which is kind of permanent. Mm. The devil wanted to stop Paul, mm -hmm. so he has Paul arrested and beaten and thrown into the deepest, darkest part of the jail. Mm -hmm. And while Paul and Silas are in this deepest, darkest part of the jail, where it's filled with misery, and there's a jailer. This jailer comes to work early in the morning. This is Rome. I mean, you know, this is Roman Empire. This is not nice times now. He doesn't belong to a union where people... He comes there. Sometimes there's not a lot of difference between a jailer and the jailees. Right? So this guy, he's down, he's down in the deepest, darkest part of the dungeon too. And he hears in the midst, you know what this man has heard every day? He goes to work. He probably works like Charles, seven days a week. Because um, it wasn't nice times. And it wasn't a nice place. He goes into this dark pit of misery every day of his life. And listens to grown men cry and weep and groan and moan. It's a place of horror. And every day, this is what this man goes into and faces. But one day, he comes in. And there are two men in, in a jail cell. And they must have done something terrible. Because not only are they in the deepest part of the day, they are chained to the wall. So he expects them to be like everybody else. They're going to moan and groan and whimper and cry. But instead of that, what he hears is them praising the Lord. Praising the name of Jesus Christ. Singing praises to Jesus Christ. And all of a sudden, the earth shakes their chains fall off. The gates, the bars of the cells fly open. And this man cries out to Paul, what must I do to be saved? Why did he cry out to Paul? Because he saw something that he had never seen before in his life. He saw the peace of God. He saw somebody trusting in the love of God. We think that that story is about Paul. The story is not about Paul. The story is about the jailer. God sent his apostle into the jail to bring the good news to that jailer whose name had been written in the Lamb's Book of Life from before the foundations of the earth. That's God permit. Because that's where, right. that's where because you know, it says in Isaiah that the devil makes a plan. <laughs> but God thwarts it and turns it to his purpose. That's right. So this horrible event in the life of Paul, and you want to know something? Paul had a willingness. If that's what it takes to do the work of God, whatever, whatever it takes, he'll do it. But sometimes the most horrible things in our life are the very things that not only will glorify Lord, the Lord, but these are the things that will accomplish his purpose. Yeah. Yeah. So now what happens is we've got to change our attitude. Symbol of suffering and shame, and I love that. Old